is tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut and welcome to Illustrator. Today we're going to take a look at how to create these simple leaves. Um, quite a beginner level tutorial here, so if you're intermediate level this might be a bit beneath you. If you're a beginner though, great, this is a perfect place to get started. Um, we're going to talk about brushes, we're going to talk about lines and strokes and colours and things like that. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. I will say I'm using a tablet to create these, so what that means is I can just draw the line and I've got a sort of digital pen that creates that for me. However, you can absolutely create these with a mouse substitute the paintbrush tool for the pen tool during this um, tutorial and you can basically just click with the mouse and draw yourself the same level of detail uh, lines that you can get with a pen tool I'm just using it because I've got one and it's easier so let's create a new template here a new document and I'm actually creating this for print so I'm going to create it in print and I'm going to create it to a4 just for now that will probably do just fine um, what we're going to do is just zoom right in and we're just going to get started so there's a few things that you will need now I'm going to take obviously the paintbrush tool. You can draw this with the mouse as well and it will sort of create nice smooth lines for you which is good to know. Um, or you can do it with a pen tablet like me. So I'm going to hold down on the paintbrush tool until um, I get the blob brush and paintbrush and I have to decide which one I want to use. If you want a smooth look I'd recommend using the blob brush tool. That will get you nice crisp edges on all your lines. If you want to have a textured look then use the paintbrush tool because that allows you to use um, textured lines from the brush palette which is what we're going to do today so i'm going to select my brush tool and i'm going to make sure i have all the correct windows open if you don't see the correct windows i have here you can go to window and you're going to need the brushes palette open like so and you're going to need your swatches palette open as well okay if you don't have those they're just under window so what i'm going to do is go to my brushes palette here and I'm going to go to this little burger menu on the right hand side and you can see that you've got things like show all different types of brushes. Make sure that those are all selected. From here you can then open the brush library or you can select this little brush library button down here and I'm going to go to artistic and then charcoal pencil. And that loads a separate set of brushes that act um, kind of like vector brushes in that this texture here will be stretched over whatever line you draw on the stage. Now you can pick whatever one you want. I'm going to pick this nice looking solid line here, thin charcoal. And what this means is when I draw a line, it's going to apply that charcoal texture to that line, which is fantastic, exactly what we need. Now, you can either create your own color palette or what I've done is I've separated out one here called Earth Tones, which you should have in your color palette library. To get that, you can just go to Swatches. Again, open up this palette down here and underneath here, there should be Earth Tone. If you select that, it will open up this palette for you. And this has got a beautiful selection of colors in here. From that point, you just need to make sure that you understand how strokes and fills work. When I select a color from here with the um, pen tool selected, it will probably um, fill in the fill option down here. But when we draw with this, it's going to put it in black, which is still the stroke option. Now, that's important to understand. If you click on the fill option, uh, on the stroke option down here, however, that will bring the stroke to the forefront, meaning when you select a color, it will then change that color on the stroke, which is exactly what we need. So I'm going to choose this nice dark green here to start off with. Grab my paintbrush tool, and I'm just going to draw the veins on our leaves first, something like this, perhaps. Okay. So Get yourself, if you're using a pen, get yourself used to using it and sort of drawing nice curves and things like that. And then just really dive right in. So we don't want a nice tool curve. So I'd recommend researching different types of leaves and things here so you can start to replicate the things that you might want to uh, draw. I've already got some which I've done a little bit of research on anyway, and I know the types of leaves I want to create. So once you've done those veins, the next step is to create the backgrounds with your paintbrush tool selected again. This time what I'm going to do is just roughly follow the edges on the edges of the points of those. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going for that simple sort of look. Now this is the, really the trick to this part. With your outline selected, okay, make sure you come back down to here and click fill. Then you can choose the swatch color of your choice and that will fill in that leaf. Now you obviously probably don't want that the same color. You can see here that I've gone for a sort of lighter green. So scroll through until you find a color that you're happy with, perhaps this one, and then just make sure again you click between your fill and your stroke until both of those are the same color. Now because we drew this after our veins, however, this has put it on top 
of our um, veins for our leaf. So we'd like to right click on this, go down to arrange and then center back. And that's pretty much it. You can see we've created a really nice looking leaf. If you select that, you can group it with a right click and just choose group. And that means you can move it around with a single click. Now, all of these are just very various variations in color and pattern as the others, but I will go through drawing them because um, there's some different techniques which are quite useful for beginners. So let's jump right in then. Back to our paintbrush tool here. And you'll notice that even though there is a fill on this, if I draw a complete shape, it's not going to put that fill in. It's only going to use the outline stroke and then it will remove that fill for you, which can be quite useful, but also can confuse beginners. So let's take a look at another thing we're going to draw then. Let's try perhaps a nice earthy brown. Draw ourselves a nice long stem and let's take a look at creating. Let's recreate this one actually. So let's have a nice green stem. So we'll just undo that and we'll go to this nice green perhaps this one here, and slightly curved like so. But this time instead of doing nice smooth arcs, we're just gonna do some V shapes like that. Okay, looks pretty good, not totally happy with that though. So we'll just edit that a little bit. Now, like I said, I'm using the, the uh, brush tool, but if you use the pen tool, it's just a case of clicking on the points that you want. And on the second point, just click and drag. That will create your arc for you. If you then go to the selection tool, you can click off of that and it will create the finished product. If you go over to your brushes palette afterwards and select a brush, it will apply that to your pen stroke. So you can see you can get very similar results with either the pen tool or the brush tool. I just prefer working with the brush because I've got this graphics tablet. It makes it a bit quicker and easier. Back to my color palette. I'm going to choose a nice rich purple, probably this one here. And for this one, what I'm going to do is fill, follow the um, lines a little bit more and give them a bit of breathing room. And that creates that nice kind of, I'm not sure what tree this, this comes from, but I quite like the leaves that look like this. We have that stroke selected. We go to our fill. We click the same color. Of course, you can choose a lighter color if you want. And then if you push that to the back, like so, you'd get your finished leaf. I think it looks better with the same colors. Um, so just make sure your fill and your stroke are the same color. If you're not happy with the color on a leaf, you can just select all of those elements. That will automatically put you to the stroke towards the um, foreground. And what you can literally do is just click through until you can find a color that you're happy with. So perhaps a nice red, perhaps a nice earthy brown. What you're looking for probably is contrast. So you could even go for a nice dark blue, like so. That looks not bad at all. Okay, pop that over there. Now you can right click and choose group, or you can just hit control G to group those together. More examples then, some where perhaps the leaves are separate from the stroke. Very easy to do. It's a similar sort of thing. I'm not going to recreate all these. This will probably be the last one because you get the gist by now. Select your stroke of your choice until the color changes down here. And then it's just a case of drawing to your heart's content. Okay, so maybe we want to add a little curve to the end of this one. Maybe we'll drop a berry there and we can just have a few leaves popping out like so. Now we can grab a nice background color. Maybe just choose a nice pale yellow like this one. And we can start to draw in our leaves. Now you can see it doesn't matter so much if the ends of your shapes don't close. Because by the time you come along, select these and give them a fill, you're not going to notice that too much anyway, especially if you're going to then push these behind your other shapes, like so, okay? If you wanted to do what we did here and just add in maybe a few berries, you could even draw the shapes first and then worry about the colors afterwards, okay? Something like that. So that is pretty much it. Like I said, this really is a simple one. Um, if you're having trouble with this and you're an absolute beginner, I recommend my intro to Illustrator series, but hopefully you guys should be able to follow along. It's quite a simple little process. I just really like the style and the look of these leaves after I started drawing them for a Christmas card that I'm working on. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. As you can see, research some pictures of leaves, find different shapes, get a strong color palette, and that's all there really is to this. So thank you very much for watching everybody. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all next time on TipTap. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.